solution of the given question. Yeah, what is the given question? In a town of in a town, ten accidents takes place in the span of fifty days. Assuming that number of accidents follows Poisson distribution, the probability that there will be at least one accident on a selected day at random is where lambda equals to zero point two. See clearly in the given problem they mentioned that we have to use Poisson distribution. Now let me write what is Poisson distribution. Poisson distribution P of x equals to e power minus lambda into lambda power x by x factorial x equals to zero one two so on. Now at the same time they are given the parameter value lambda equals to zero point two. So Poisson distribution P of x becomes e power minus point two. Into point two whole power x by factorial x, where x equals to zero, one, two, so on here. So here this is the Poisson distribution for this question. Now many times we discuss in the class when you are facing this type of big questions, first you have to think about what they are asking exactly. So already we have lambda value, there is no issue. So what they are asking exactly the probability that there will be at least one accident. At least one accident means they are asking. We have to calculate the probability of x greater than or equal to one. Probability of x greater than or equal to one means probability of one plus probability of two, probability of x equal to three, probability of x equal to four. Like that, probability of x yeah, it becomes a big expression. So instead of yeah, we have to calculate this one instead of writing that expression, you have to think about alternative. See, in probability theory, many times we use one rule. What is that probability of event plus pro probability of its complement event equals to one? So what is its complementary event? Probability of x less than one plus probability of x greater than or equal to one equals how much one? So we require probability of x greater than or equal to one. So the which is equals to one minus probability of x less than one, right? So you can uh, yeah x greater is exactly probability of x less than one. One minus what is the value of probability of x less than one? So probability of x less than one means only the possible option is x less than one means only zero is there. P of zero simply P of zero, which is equal to one minus. See when you substitute x equals zero, this is this becomes one. And denominator there is a zero factor which is equal to one. Finally we are getting e power minus point two. So e power minus point two. So this is the required result. So now let's compare with the given options. What are the given options here? See first option e power minus. 0.02 to 2. No, this is incorrect. 1 minus is there. Yeah, second option 1 minus e power minus 0.2 is there. So this is the correct option. Rest of the options are incorrect. What is the logic we applied here in this question? Simply we applied the probability of event plus probability of its complement event equals to 1. So that we can write probability of x less than equal to 1 minus probability of x less than 1.